classroom activities. Mm. Do you have your head down? Ooh. Are you moving around without permission? Okay, so if I see you doing that, if I see you doing those things, if I see you playing on your phone, like Lorenzi is right now, it will result in a loss of points. And if I see it too much, it will result in a failing grade. Okay, so also I will grade you based on teacher talking time, participation, and conduct. Are you raising your hand, okay, before you participate in discussion? Are you actually contributing to the classroom discussion? Because if you're not, then I can't give you a grade, okay? Um, you will also be graded, you'll notice, on completion of assignments. I will list an objective every day of what you are supposed to complete by the end of the class period. And then I will give you a grade based on whether or not you finished it. Okay, so the goal is to keep you accountable for your actions so that you're staying on task and not wasting time, okay? As I said before, this is going to be your last day to finish your argumentative essays, and I'm going to move into an explanation on that in just a minute. And then um, you'll have to work on whatever activity you are ready for, okay, based on your progress on your essays. So let me show you the objectives for today so you have a clear picture of what you're supposed to do. So as I said, the drafts are due. You need to send them to my email account on Google Docs. It's listed here on the board. Okay, your essay drafts must include the peer editing sheet in order to receive credit. If you finish your draft in peer editing sheets, then you have to work on Reading Plus today. You have to work on Reading Plus today, you'll get a participation grade for that. So, so I think everyone has access to Reading Plus, but I'll help you make sure that you're on task and you know what to do. And this is important, so I'm going to assign a Z to anybody who has not submitted a draft of their essay today. And a Z, a Z basically means, shh, let me explain. We don't even need zero. I'll explain. So a Z means, I can wait till everyone stops talking. A Z means that you get a temporary F until I receive the final product. It means that I haven't received the assignment. So, and I checked this today, even if you have a 4.0 in my class, if you get the Z on your argumentative essay, you automatically get an F. For the whole, for the whole class. So, because it's worth 10 grades, this is your finale for the unit. So it's the most important part. Okay, so let me clarify one more thing before we get started. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Okay. okay, so you will have access to the computers, you'll have access to laptops to finish up today. You should be working on your Google Docs. You have everything that you need. This will not be the final due date for the essay. That will be Friday of this week. Shh, Forrest, you know. That will be this week. So you'll have to work on it at home. You'll have to work on it at home if you don't finish it today. Okay? So are there any further questions that I can use to help you? I just want to give Okay, so Nisha, what's your question? I can't hear Nisha if everyone's talking. All right, hold on just a second. Okay, Nisha, go ahead. Okay, so if you didn't finish your work draft, you have to take home the finish. Yes. How will you do the peer editing if everyone's already completed theirs? Good question. So if I don't see a peer editing sheet, you at least have to, I can give you one, and you have to at least do a self-edit. You will lose points for not having a peer evaluate your essay. Okay? Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, so what's happening if you don't have you get a Z. Up here, you get a Z. Up here, edit your essay. You will lose a point. You know what? Yeah, you're going to lose points. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll send it. Okay, Okay, so you know where you are. If you need to type up your essay, you need to go to the computers now. I know you're still working. Cedric? Yes. Okay, Cedric, you need to type, so you need to move over. Okay, so let's see you start moving to where you need to be. Fill up those computers, and once they're full, I'll give you the laptops so you can start working on either Reading Plus 
or type in your essay. Okay, so we'll come up here.